Hey, this is the Swedish guitar nerd, um, and today I'm gonna be um, somewhat of a mythbuster and uh, try to look at pickups because uh, I get comments every day uh, to all my videos, and very many of them are about uh, pickup upgrades and will it affect the tone? Will it make me have more sustain? Will the sun shine brighter? I don't know, um, and. Um, the truth is, is that I've never changed pickups in any of my guitars before. Uh, interesting. Uh, so uh, uh, this is, a, I don't know, a revelation for me as well to find out if it actually does it makes a difference. Um, so I'm gonna take my Bouvier Custom. Um, yeah, it's a Squire Affinity. Improved the uh, name now, though. Um, that I'm planning on customizing uh, part by part. It's got strap locks now, for instance. Uh, and where should I start? <laughs> of course, the pickups. Uh, and uh, yeah, I approached some uh, pickup companies uh, and uh, only one responded. Uh, none of the big ones responded, of course, uh, to my requests. Uh, Maybe they're afraid that I would tell some truth that they don't want to be told. Well, uh, I'll give one company uh, two thumbs up. That's Bare Knuckles. Bare Knuckles Pickups. If you have the money, buy Bare Knuckles Pickups because they are the only ones that answered my mails and really took the time. Of, uh, they weren't able to... Uh, uh, yeah aid me in this uh, yeah in this video they couldn't give me any pickups or give me a discount or anything but they actually took the time and responded and were really nice so bare knuckle pickups i like you um well uh, so uh, i had to choose another route and uh, i did a review of a vintage uh, vs stratocaster guitar and if you watch that, you remember that I really love those pickups. Uh, they were called, uh, what were called, WVS, Wilkinson Vintage Single Coils, possibly. And I, they were amazing. Uh, the one biggest good thing about that guitar. Uh, so I thought, why not uh, try, since there are, it is uh, possible to buy uh, uh, vintage uh, the vintage brand pickups as standalone units as upgrades and uh, yeah so I got myself a set of these black um, and these are not uh, the WVS's this is the WHS's so that uh, these are uh, uh, the hot version uh, so they are slightly more overwound and uh, uh, According to the script description, they should have more mid-range, and that is what I'm looking for. Because uh, um, yeah, more mid-range gives you more harmonics. It gives you more body, more I don't know life uh, to all your guitar sound. Um, so I thought, well, that might be the route, and I like the I don't know guys using hot, overwound uh, single coils like. Richie Blackmore, for instance, I love his sound, one of my bigger inspirations. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this guitar, but I'm also going to show uh, you, uh, yeah, sound examples of how it sounded with the standard Squire cheapo pickups that it came with. And the upgraded ones, uh, the vintage are made in China as probably these are as well, or Indonesia, these are made. Um, so it's Far Eastern, uh, but I mean, a set of these costs you uh, like a third of one pickup from another company, so... And that's, yeah, I think quality-wise they are really good. But how would it sound? Well, let's find out. Uh, first I'm gonna show you uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, like a clean sound and a dirty sound. So uh, first I'm gonna show a clean sound with uh, the regular standard pickups. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, that was the clean sound with the stand-up pickups. Okay, let's do some magic then. Uh, abracadabra! Uh, what well, do you know? New pickups. Um, <laughs> one thing I noticed when I installed this is uh, that they aren't at all called uh, uh, vintage pickups. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. I forget everything I've said so far in this video. They are Wil Wilkinson branded pickups. And uh, are installed in all uh, vintage branded guitars by Wilkinson, by the way. Uh, Trev Wilkinson has designed all of these. Uh, so, Wilkinson, WHS, Wilkinson Hot Single Coils. Okay, let's try it then. And first, we go for a clean sound. <laughs> back with the standard pickups again and let's do a dirty sound.
Okay, and now for a last transformation. Abacadabra! Yeah, okay. Let's see how they behave with a more, um, yeah, driven, distorted sound. High gain, here we go. You can uh, decide for yourself and uh, leave, leave a comment if you even heard a difference as I said in the start this is supposed to discover or uh, I don't know break the myth or whatever it's called uh, maybe it's true uh, to me uh, it actually they did exactly what they were uh, marketed to do uh, there was more output and there was definitely more uh, mid-range and uh, that's what I wanted, so I'm a happy guy. Um, it will really make this guitar cut through more and um, yeah, you can hear the distortion sounds as well. It's so much easier to get a, a nice distorted sound with mid-range screams. Um, one thing, the, the bridge pickup uh, in this set is overwound to compensate. Because uh, if you have the same output in these pickups, uh, the bridge pickup gives less volume uh, because of the uh, design. Because the strings vibrate more up here. But this, to me, it sounded like it was too overwound because this is louder than the other ones. <laughs> and... Uh, good or bad thing uh, to me uh, it's a bad thing because I want to have three different sounds not necessarily like one that's on gear up or something I just want them to be equal volume but different sounds but if you like like a configuration where it has a humbucker in the bridge and like you can have an extra oomph then this might suit you very well but well it's not a bad thing, it's just uh, not exactly what I wanted. Uh, okay, hope you found this useful and uh, hope this encourages you to upgrade your pickups and see what it does to your guitar. It, it, the guitar as a whole sounds a lot better, it sounds more stratty now, I think. It has more of the quack and the twang, <laughs> all the <laughs> words that people use for strats. Um, so yes, I think it's an improvement, a better guitar. Okay, thank you for watching, see you soon.